United USA 2020 and beyond. Check it out. So what we got here, ladies and gentlemen, is more evidence of the CCP, the Chinese regime, trying to shut down people who are being vocal about organ harvesting. Now, this law professor right here is a prime example. Was it for mentioning China's organ harvesting? Protect free speech. Yeah, it actually does. It's in Article 35. Now you might think, but the Chinese government arrests people for things they say, so it's not following its own constitution. But you'd be wrong. You see, a few paragraphs later, the constitution clarifies that citizens in exercising their freedoms and rights may not infringe upon the interests of the state. So you can say whatever you want, as long as it doesn't offend or expose people in power. Freedom of speech with Chinese characteristics. Just part of socialism with Chinese characteristics. But surprisingly, one famous Chinese criminal law professor failed to understand this. After one video of his started circulating online, he had years of work and millions of followers on Chinese social media wiped out. This is Professor Wu Xiang. He's the director of the Institute of Criminal Law at a prominent university in Beijing. But he's much more than that. Wu Xiang is like a rock star. Well, a rock star among criminal law professors. But still, over time, he accumulated 2.5 million followers on Weibo, China's version of Twitter. Then, when COVID hit, his classroom lectures were moved online to Billy Billy, China's version of YouTube, where he quickly gained 15 million followers. He even got a stint on China's hip new stand-up comedy show. Hold on. If Lo can make it big with mediocre jokes like that, how come I can't get 15 million followers and an invitation to a Chinese comedy show? My jokes are even more mediocre. But while Professor Lo Xiang may have a lot of interesting things to say, it's dangerous to say some of them. In a video that was circulating online a couple weeks ago, he touched the Chinese Communist Party's third rail topic, forced organ harvesting. Lo was talking about cases like this one from 2009, where a homeless man was killed and his organs harvested. Several doctors were implicated in the crime. It doesn't seem like Lo was talking about how the Chinese regime itself kills dissidents and ethnic minorities for their organs. But even mentioning forced organ harvesting is taboo in China. Outside China, a lot of people already know the Chinese Communist Party is killing people for their organs. And if you didn't, check out my episode, Six Things That Show China's Organ Harvesting is Real. An international tribunal confirmed it in 2019. You can read all the evidence in their 60-page judgment, or you can just watch my listicle video. The point is, forced organ harvesting is being carried out directly by the Chinese state in state-run hospitals. But the Chinese state also gave itself the constitutional right 
to forbid any free speech that infringes upon the interests of the state. Which brings us back to Professor Lo Xian. The Chinese Communist Party does not want anyone talking about forced organ harvesting, especially when it's trying to celebrate its 100-year anniversary this month. And so Lo Xiang's Weibo account was wiped clean. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can clearly see, uh, the Chinese regime has no shame. They have no value on human life whatsoever. And unfortunately, uh, there are many, many, many countless victims of this organ harvesting. Uh, please feel free to like, share, and comment below. Thank you.